Hello love bugs and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I feel like spending alone time or being lonely gets a really bad rap and that's just really not the case. There are so many benefits that people really don't talk about for spending their time alone. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I created this channel to help you have a more loving, positive and fulfilling lifestyle. And today we're going to talk about the positives of having alone time. So the first thing I want to talk about is, I'm sure a lot of you have heard the, the, the phrase of filling your own cup up first so that it can overflow and you can fill up other people's cups as well. So if we are constantly surrounding ourselves with people, whether it's, you know, work or family or friends or with, you know, we're constantly with our partner. What can happen is, is because we're not necessarily always tending to our own needs first, we're not filling our own cup up. So what that does is instead of actually contributing to these relationships, it's actually dulling them down. So if we take time to kind of be by ourselves and tend to our own needs, and really it is the epitome of self care, then we actually show up better in our other relationships with other people. The second thing that alone time does for us is allows our brains to recharge. A lot of times I'll say to certain people, you know, I love spending time with you because I don't have to turn on for you. And you know what I'm talking about? You know, when you're around someone, even if it's a friend or someone that you're close with, where you have to feel like you're on high alert, you know, you have to constantly be making conversation. It's not someone that you can just kind of vibe out in the car with in silence and that you always have to kind of fill that void. And especially in maybe a work environment where you have to be or act a certain way where you can't be slinging around the F word. Maybe you do that normally. I mean, I do, but I certainly don't do that when I'm around my clients with work. <laughs> so giving your brain some time to just turn off and recharge is super, super important for not only our physical rest, but some brain rest too. <laughs> and on top of that, what we do when we start spending some time alone, we start to realize that there are a lot of people that we spend time with that actually drain our energy or at least lessen it where you walk away from that interaction or that hour spent or whatever it is. And you actually feel more tired than when you went into it. Whereas on the flip side, there are plenty of people I'm sure that you do surround yourself with where you feel more energized and loving and just fulfilled once you leave that interaction. So what this alone time does is it makes you more reluctant to spend your time and give your energy to those people that are sucking the energy out of you. And you're more selective of the people you do give your time and energy to, which again makes those relationships even stronger. The biggest thing though, that I find is important with spending alone time and look guys, I used to be that person that always wanted to be around other people. I didn't understand why people needed alone time. I, I just, I didn't get it. I've always been a very big extrovert. I've always fed off of other people's energies and it was just something I never enjoyed until the pandemic started. <laughs> and now it is very difficult for me to actually want to give my time and energy to other people because I have fallen so deeply in love with spending time by myself. And one of the biggest reasons why is self-awareness. And you hear me talk about self-awareness a lot on my channel because it is so important. And if you're never spending alone time and dissecting your own feelings and emotions and desires and wants and needs and goals, you're not going to know yourself. So how can you live a fulfilling and loving and beautiful life if you're not even connected to who you are, you know, what are things that bother you? What are things that make you tick? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What do you enjoy doing? What do you not enjoy doing? Why do you react certain ways to different situations? Why do you get triggered by certain things? You know, there's a, a 
an aspect of learning about yourself when you're spending that time alone that is so important. And you know the kind of people I'm talking about where you come around them and they just exude this, this confidence and this contentment within themselves because they're not consistently or constantly seeking it outside. And that's gonna actually bring me into my next point, which is <laughs> it's dealing with your emotions. And a lot of times the negative ones. And the thing is, is what I have found from the people that I know in my life is that people that constantly want to be around other people, for the most part, there's always those exceptions, they're running from something or they're seeking outside validation. You know, those people who are in relationship after relationship after relationship and you're just like, you need to chill out and spend some alone time and get to know yourself. Well, the reason that they're not doing that is because they don't want to go through what baggage could be within themselves. And so they look for the next relationship to seek that external validation so they don't have to do it. And the thing is, is when you're on a cycle like that, you're never actually solving the problem and you're more than likely bringing in the same types of relationships in your life over and over and over again because you're not spending the time alone to learn about yourself, to heal those things so that you can bring in a better, more fulfilling and loving relationship. And even outside of romantic relationships, if people are constantly surrounding themselves for with other people, a lot of times it's actually to feed their ego. It's to look for that external validation in other ways besides within romantic partners. It's to exude their control over other people. It's to validate their ego and their need to control everything and everyone around them or their desire to feel better than other people. And, and it's not always something that, that means that that person's a bad person. It's just something that they're subconsciously doing a lot of times without even realizing it. And the last reason that I want to share with you to spend more time in solitude by yourself, even though there are a bajillion more other reasons out there, is to deepen your relationship with God and with spirit and with your own higher self. When we're constantly moving in the hustle and bustle of life and all the crazy things going on and schedules and, and running our lives by the clock, we get too busy to do that. We get too busy to sit down and in and, and prayer and actually connect with the divine that put us here on this beautiful planet. I used to never prioritize alone time. And during quarantine, it was something that I was forced to do. And over time, <laughs> I have, it has changed everything about me. It has changed everything about the way that I live my life. And I just want to share this with you guys because it's such a beautiful thing. And it's not easy, okay? It's not easy to look inwards and deal with your own demons and shortcomings. But the thing is, is once you do, and once you learn about yourself and you face them, you the outcome is so much greater and it's so worth it because everything else you do moving forward is because you're choosing to do it for the right reasons because you know what your needs and wants and desires are. So if you're someone out there that feels like they don't like alone time or they kind of run away from it and do everything they can to not spend the time alone, I highly recommend you start finding some time. Maybe it's a few hours a week or maybe it's every other week or just whatever would work for you, okay? For me, I spend a lot of time every day by myself, journaling, scripting, meditating, praying, but it didn't start out that way. You know, it's something that has evolved and grown over time. Whereas now, like if I choose to go out and hang out with friends or do something or go home and visit family or whatever, it's because like, ah, I miss my people and I love them and I want to. And it doesn't become this mundane routine. And it's because like, I know who I want to spend my time with. I know who gives me energy and who, who I have fulfilling relationships with. 
And I also know of relationships that really take away from a lot of my energy and my happiness and my positivity. So learn about yourself, spend some time in solitude. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. I'd love to open up a discussion about this and help you on your solitude journey. And if you found value in this video, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and even share it with someone if you feel like it would help them on their life journey. I love you guys so much and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. Thank you.